Hello everyone, so now we are going to do one lab. This is a small project. We can say in this one we can uh, make the communication between two PC. In short, we can say connecting two PC and checking the connectivity between them by using the ping command. Okay, so let me take two PC and let me write down here what we are going to do also. If you see, I will take two computer. Okay and let me make this zoom in or let me see okay i will make little big so this is a two computer let me write down here what we are going to do here okay i will write here what we are going to do or let me give the name of this project so i can write project one or practical one okay project one what we are going to do in this one we are going to do in this one connectivity connecting to pc okay let me write down here connecting to pc let me write like this to pc and checking connectivity by using ping command we can say like this connectivity between them by using ping command Okay, connecting to PC and checking connectivity between them by by using ping command. Okay, this is basic. Let me move this here so you can see. Yeah, let me remove the uh, gap between there is some gap something wrong okay let's try okay this is our uh, project let me take the cable i will connect the cable if you see this is the copper crossover cable i am using copper crossover cable if you have same device okay if you are using the same device you we will use the copper cross cable if you are using the different device then we will take the straight cable okay so what i can write here i can write crossover cable cross over cable in between this two machine okay we are using and this green here it is showing green color that means this green color means device is ready to test actually if you know stp stp is making this different color later it will become as a green okay now let me give some ip schema we can use any ip schema we can generally we are using 192.168.1.1 right so let me keep that same thing first of all here i will write 192.168.1.1 slash 24 and here i will give this is a label i am writing here 192.168.1.2 slash 24 this is the ip schema which we are going to use in between them if you are having confusion let me write down here ip address for pc1 okay i am writing each and every step because some freshers are also watching our videos so they will uh, not have any confusion because you are from this background you already watch our youtube channel playlist so you have the idea but the guy who is uh, new he can also easily understand okay so now this is the project which we are going to do project one practical whatever you want to give this name we can give now we can start doing the operation so first we need to assign the ip address so what i will do i will click the computer and desktop and then i will go here i will assign the ip 192.168.1.1 okay by default you will have subnet mask keep that one only and then i will go here i will assign the ip we will go in the desktop and here i will write 192.168.1.2 okay and now i will close so we have the ip address here now we can do the testing okay we can do the testing this is simple 
click here go in the command prompt and write the ping and write the ip address of the device i am here in the pc1 i am going to ping the pc2 so i will write 192.168.1.2 okay reply is coming means it is working perfectly no issue between this they are communicating with each other okay these two pcs are communicating with each other and if you want you can go to the pc2 and you can ping the pc1 i will write here ping i will write the pc1 ip 192.168.1.1 reply is coming it is working perfectly okay if you want to check the simulation if you want to check the packet we can do that one also i will take this packet i will send from here to here okay and now i will play if you see packets are coming here okay and then it is going back then again it is coming okay it go and come back if you want i can open the packet i can show you what is present inside the packet this is a osi model if you go inbound what you have inbound if you see you have the ethernet frame this one from here to here and this is a ip header inside that one what you have you have the icmp okay you have the icmp if you want let me send again from here to here okay if you see what is this packet this is the outbound what we have in this same thing ethernet frame we have inside that we have ip in that we have the icmp because we are sending ping is nothing but icmp only this will go here okay inbound means whatever is coming outbound means whatever is leaving so if you see here in inbound what we have inbound you have ethernet frame okay and after that you have the ip we are using version 4 that is ipv4 we are using this is a source ip address this is a destination ip address because this packet is coming from here so this guy become source and this guy will become as a destination so if you see this is a source ip 192.168.1.1 so this is a this guy pc1 is a source pc2 is a destination and this is a pc2 ip okay and what else we can say here if you see this is a destination mac address okay and this is a source mac address you have this in the ethernet frame if you remember whenever we are sending any packet you need the our ethernet that is our mac address our ip address destination mac address destination ip address whenever you want to send any ethernet frame you need to have the four thing let me write down here what you need you need source source ip destination ip source mac address destination mac address so you have here in the ethernet frame this is a source mac address this is a destination mac address this is source ip destination ip if you want to cross check go here okay and go to the configuration this is a fast ethernet 0 by 0 check this is zero mac address compare this is for this machine the pc1 so pc1 means source address if you see this is the same as you have in your frame okay if you see this is your lan card or nic card or network card of your machine this is your computer your computer is having the lan card we are calling in simple we can say lan or ethernet card nic card different name okay if you want to see let me show you this one i can say this one okay if you log in to the control panel you can access from there also let me show you if i go open the network and setting you can click ethernet and change the adapter option and you can see this is a ethernet lan card we can say this is a wifi lan card we can say lan card or ethernet card network card this all are same only so this one is having the mac address okay how you can check in the packet tracer you can check here if you see this is your mac address of your lan card ethernet card nic card of your pc1 and if you see in your machine that is the packet what is going you have this same address here okay and this ip and also if you are checking here outbound here it will reverse means 
this guy is sending that one right outbound means going from here so you will see here first when frame is coming from pc1 to pc2 this guy will become as a source and this guy will become as a destination but when frame is going back to this machine from pc2 to pc1 pc2 will become as a source because he is sending back right pc2 is sending he will become source and this guy will become as a destination so source mac address will be this mac address destination mac address will be this mac address okay if you want i can show you also and also you can check the ip source ip before we are saying this is a source ip but now pc2 is sending the frame so this guy will become as a source so this ip will be the source and this ip will become as a destination if you see here okay and mac address this guy mac become as a source if you want i will show you how we can check we can go inside the machine you can go here configuration ethernet and you can see this is a mac address if you want i will copy and i will paste so we can easily compare okay i will paste here we can so we can easily compare and if you see uh, this one where i paste this one and check here both are same okay this is a mac address of our ethernet card lan card of pc2 that become as a source address okay what else if you have any confusion whatsapp us our team is going to support you or write in the chat window or write in the comments okay you need to remember whenever we are sending any ethernet frame you need to have the source address source ip and mac destination ip and mac you need to remember this one okay three way handshake that we will see later okay that is a separate thing we are going to discuss later that one whenever they want to establish a connection they are going to do the three way handshake that one we will see later now remember this one okay so this is a simple project what we want to check here this two two pcs are working or not we need to check we check already that one and also we verify whatever is packet is going whatever frame is going from the pc1 to pc2 or pc2 to pc1 we verify inbound means whatever is coming inside to this pc2 outbound means whatever pc2 is sending back to the pc1 and we verify here we have the ethernet frame in ethernet frame we have the source and destination mac address in ip we have the source and destination and the here we have the icmp packet is going there okay icmp packet is going inside there we check that one if you want i will make this little big so you can easily study anyhow you can download the packet tracer and you can check there okay this is a icmp packet so that's all this is our lab just to brush up your basic if you are old guy you are watching our youtube no issue but the new guy they have the confusion so now they can understand by seeing this video okay thank you bye